Today on the channel from the Star Wars Saga Collection, Revenge of the Sith figures. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another Star Wars unboxing and review as today we take a look at, from the Saga Collection, some Revenge of the Sith characters. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And as usual, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. And we're going to see where it goes from there. Let's start it off with this Fire Speeder Pilot. I got to tell you guys, I do not remember this character at all. I remember absolutely nothing of this. So... Uh, your guess is as good as mine where this one's going to go, but let's look at the packaging first. Fire Speeder Pilot right there. Nice background as usual with the Saga Collection figures. Got a little glamour shot down at the bottom. Revenge of the Sith coloring at the top. Uh, very cool looking figure, even if I don't know what the heck this is. And then on the back, of course, we got the hologram down in the corner. We got the blur. We got the cross cell. We got the tail of the tape. We got the glamour shot from the movie, glamour shot of the figure, and all the warnings down below. So let's see what it says about this fire speeder pilot. What is this guy up to? Uh, the Battle of Coruscant. As the massive aerial battle over Coruscant comes to an end, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker pilot General Grievous' disabled flagship to a dramatic crash landing. A raging fire breaks out once the ship hits Coruscant's atmosphere, but lucky for the Jedi heroes, this brave fire speeder pilot and his crew are ready to put out the flames to help ship to help the ship land. Okay, interesting. Talk about a bit part. Uh, skills, he can extinguish fires on disabled ships. Mission, put out fires on Grievous's ship. Helps, Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Palpatine land. Okay, well, there it is. I don't really remember it. I vaguely remember that, but I don't remember him at all. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's the way it goes sometimes in this Star Wars game. And everything. See you later. See you later. Revenge of the Sith. Fire Speeder Pilot. The stand checks out. So it is him. And then we get a nice hologram piece of Obi-Wan. A little bit of stickiness to him. He's just a little sticky. Oh, I love a sticky figure. Fire Speeder Pilot. Almost looks like a G.I. Joe... Viper, like a Viper Trooper or something like that. There he is in the plastic prison. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about this one. I don't know where. I don't know. See you later. I don't know where I'm going to put this in my display. I mean, I guess I, I got to reenact that scene now. I've been forced. My hand's been forced. And he's got a backpack that does not like to stay in. It's always fun. Always love that. And then he's got a little bit of the uh, old dental floss holding him in. And it's sticky as usual. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be sticky? Everybody loves sticky dental floss. That's one thing we've learned here in 2021 in these Star Wars unboxings is the importance of sticky dental floss. Or maybe not at all. But it's an interesting character. I don't know if there's reuse from anything. He's got that side-to-side -side elbows. He's got knee articulation. Uh, no ankles. Legs go up like Power of the Force. Got waist. Has head. Oh boy, that backpack does not want to stay in. He's got a very interesting body style shape for that but he has this extinguisher and all that so it, there's something here this is his only figure I'm, I'm pretty confident this is the only figure we ever got of this fire speeder pilot but uh it's very interesting the minute you turn his arm or you turn his body his backpack just falls right out so that's really fun uh, i don't know i don't know about this one this seems like a bit of a stretch even for star wars universe but you know like i said it does look like a cobra viper of some kind uh uh, flame viper or something along them lines but it's interesting got all that tubing going on white kind of flight jumpsuit uh, mask we always love a mask or a helmet a helmet mask we're okay with that uh, nice colorings I guess a little blase but he is a firefighter in space a space firefighter so there it is I don't know not good not bad really just kind of indifferent and that's what you get on some of these guys when you're buying big lots like this you get some uh just middle-of-the-road characters, and I would say that Fire Speeder Pilot is the definition of a middle-of-the-road character. So there you go. Let's turn our attention to hopefully something a little bit more exciting. The Elite Corpse Clone Trooper looks a lot like a speeder bike pilot. Uh, very interesting in the old Clone Wars. Revenge of the Sith as well. Saga Collection, Glamour Shots, nice background. As usual, I love the backgrounds on these. Very underrated packaging on, the, on these Saga Collection figures. 
On the back, we got the tail of the tape. We've got the blurb. We've got the hologram. We've got the glamour shots. we got the cross-sell, and we got the warnings. It's all there for everyone to see. Let's see what it says about this guy, though, huh? Uh, clone Trooper. Combat on Kashyyyk. Oh, Kashyyyk. Beautiful this time of year. Buggy, as you guys know, but if you can get past the bugs, oh, you're in for sights you never thought you'd ever see. Uh, the specialized troopers in the 41st Elite Corps are deployed on the beach of Kashyyyk to battle droid forces invading from the water. Swarms of droids overrun the beach, but the elite troopers hold them back, supporting the Republic leaders, until the Emperor orders the Corps commander to execute Order 66. Oh, that dreaded order. Uh, they are led by Commander Gree, so we know all about Commander Gree. We've had him on the channel before. They, they battle droid forces, and they are pat, part of the Grand Army of the Republic. Well, there you go. And I guess they were later converted into speeder bike pilots and moved over to Endor. Or not really. But I'm here for it. I'm cool with it. Let's get all this stuff out. There's a lot going on in here. See you later up high. See you later. Bam! There it is right at the screen. Psh, like Spider-Man. Just like that. Uh, once again, we get old Dooku. Count Dooku. 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 A little bit of that. We get a little hologram action going on. Oh, and then we get down to an Elite Corpse Trooper, Revenge of the Sith. There it is. We get the stand. It is official, official. And a plastic prison. We got dental floss, of course. You got to have the dental floss. Where would, be, where would we be without clean teeth? I don't know. And you know, old Kyle, we talk about all this dental floss. Little known fact, old Kyle never had a cavity. Never had a cavity in his life. See you later. Just living that dream. That's what you do. You brush. You get the mouthwash out. You get the old dental floss once in a while. And uh, you're off to the races. You're off to the races with some clean teeth. That's uh, my recommendation to you. Now, my kids, it's like pulling teeth trying to get them to brush their teeth. I don't know what's up with that. I never had problems. I've always been a kid. You get up in the morning, and you get right after it. You get dressed. You get your coat. You take your shower. You brush your teeth. You get all that done right away. My kids, they like to, you know, let me shower in the afternoon. And I'm sure some of you guys were that way as well. Not me. I was never a procrastinator. I always get after things. And one thing I'm getting after is this review, and I love this figure. I love this trooper here. I don't know if it's just the kind of army fatigues, kind of the forest army fatigues that make this so cool. Plus, I do love a speeder biker, uh, one of the most underrated, if not the most underrated, uh, army builder of all time. I love that he's got two guns. He's all guns blazing like a young Judas Priest. Uh, I just love that a whole lot. This is just really cool. I love the camo kind of gear look on this guy. Uh, and he fits in right with Commander Gree and his troops. This is something I would really like to army build because a bunch of these guys would be pretty sweet to have together. He's got, I love that he's got the little speeder bike blaster and he's got the holster down here. Really is the beginnings of the old speeder bike pilot is what this is. And it all helps them get the most out of their mold, as you guys know. But a fabulous, fabulous one. One of my favorite troop builders I think we've had in the 3 and 3 Force line all year. I really do like the looks of this guy. Very, very cool. Better than the firefighter. We're going to say that for sure. Now we turn our attention to the last one. We're going back to the alien word. We got Lushro's Dauphine. Who names these guys? Lushro's Dauphine. He comes with a little computer, which is cool. And he's one of those nemeoids. Is that what they are? Nemeoids? Something I'm sure it'll say on the back. Uh, you got a little glamour shot of him, of course, down below. Cool background as usual. On the back, holograms. Yes, holograms. And we got cross cells. We got warnings. We got tales of the tape. We got a blurb. And we got glamour shots. Oh, what more could you want? Probably the greatest packaging of any toy line of all time is this. They got every base covered. Maybe not the best in each one, but all bases are covered on these. So I, I do appreciate that. The Battle of Coruscant, once again, the Separatist flagship titled The Invisible Hand was originally commissioned for the Nemeoidian Separatist leader, Newt Gunray. Ah, oh, Newt Gunray. Favorite of the channel. Darth Sidious later orders the ship and the crew to serve General Grievous, the new leader of the droid armies, Lustros Dauphine, an esteemed captain, pilots the General's flagship and obeys Grievous's every command, species Nemeoidian. Uh, hails from an influential Nemeodian family. Title, Captain? Captain? Yeah, the Captain. No, he's the captain of Grievous's flagship. So good for him. Good for him. I'm going to forget Lucifarius' name pretty quickly here. That's just the way it goes sometimes. But I love the packaging on these. See you later. Whoa. See you later. Lushros Dauphine, Revenge of the Sith. So it all checks out. Love that. Once again, Boba Fett enters the arena, this time in blue, all colors of Boba Fett. And then we get down to him in the plastic prison. I like his accessory, a little computer. You can choose your own adventure. Use that with other guys if you really wanted to. So we always appreciate a little of that action. 
Pull that out. Pull that out and see you later. Goodbye. All right, now we got a chess piece. Once again, just a chess piece. Hard uh, robe. I was almost going to say cape, but no, it's a robe. Hard robe throughout, so he's not moving. He's not going anywhere. He's got the side-to-side -side arm, so he can be very expressive, as we know. Huh? What? Not me. Huh? What? He can do that. He can do the Brett Hitman heart. He can do a little of that. Or he can be thinking with his hands like this. So there's a lot of range of emotions we can get out of this guy, at least. His head does move all around, up, down, side to side. So he gets a lot of expression just with the head tilt, going way up, way to the side, way over, way back. Uh, that does help because you're not moving his waist, you're not moving his legs, you're not moving his arms really a whole lot. I mean, just very limited articulation on this one, as it really kind of should be. He does have his little computer he can hold, so you put that in his hand, and then he stands in front of this little th doohickey. Yeah, doohickey. He stands in front of this guy, and punches his numbers, and flies the ship. That's what he does. So, pretty plain Jane. I'm sure he's going to fit on the stand. I mean, he was made for it. He should, right? Whoa. Uh, maybe. He doesn't even need a stand, so it is a waste of a stand. But, you know, if they're going to give it to you, you might as well use it. It's, it's just all about respect at the end of the day. Uh, but there he is, Luciferus Dauphin. I don't know. A mixed bag with this one. Uh, a chess piece, a guy we really don't remember, and then a solid, solid trooper. So a little bit of everything, a little bit of everything for everybody, as we usually get in a lot of these Star Wars videos. And we're coming to the end of our Star Wars videos for 2021. So make sure you subscribe to this channel, because there will be Star Wars videos. You won't want to miss them. They just probably won't be on a daily basis. So stay tuned. Uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, like this video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Follow me on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, D underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and of course, ProSNTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for another Revenge of the Sith unboxing and review, I am Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.